yourselves, guys. Vocal adrenaline takes no prisoners. Oh. You know, straight boy dyes his hair to look like Linda Evangelista circa 1993. I have in my Spanx at all times a list of the worst songs ever performed by the Glee Club. And I would appreciate it if you would not reprise any of the following numbers. Number one, Run Joey Run. You should literally apologize to America for that one. He charged my credit card by swiping it through his butt crack. Go with God, Satan. Santana. I did to try online dating. <laughs> Cause I just try to be really, really honest with people when I think that they suck. I though today we need to practice doo behind Blaine while he sings every solo in the medley of Pink songs. Santana told me never to speak alone with you because you would try to steal all of my gold. I don't even remember putting that in there. Uh. Team Gay, we may now proceed to the next checkpoint without fear of violence. Grilled cheeses. Hi, I'm Jacob Ben Israel with Please Big Gay Summer. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. I wouldn't know because, like Medusa, I try to avoid eye contact with her. Just know you have rights. Now slap Brittany. They say that the best time to start any business is during a recession. I don't know why or even what a recession is, but it's my understanding that we're in one. He's so smart, I, I can't believe he plunked out of college. This is a song that I wrote for Sam. It's called Shouty Mouth. Wait, what's it called? I decided to have the Glee Club perform Rocky Horror for the school musical this year. Wow, yeah. Will. never actually almost killed a civil servant before. Boy, did I think that Hitler showed promise. I'm incognito. You're having a glee wedding. Their Christmas gift to each other was rabies. Give one of those old ladies a good luck pat on the rear, it'll shatter her pelvis. I hope you'll all respect that I want Glee Club to remain a place where I, Britney S. Pierce, can escape the torment of Britney Spears. You suck so bad, Quinn for break. I won. It's not gonna fit you and I back where we belong. Which is where? On top. On top of what? Sue Sylvester is marrying herself. You used to be just sort of unlikable, but now I pretty much feel like punching you every time you open your mouth. Rachel, you suck. What prom queen candidate is spending a lot of time in her closet? And that's garbage. Quinn's claustrophobic. And I'd like to call it the Warbler's Gap Attack. Not even the can't lose combination of boobs and fire can get me going anymore. I just really want to get you in a stroller. You're all coffee and no omelet. Are you looking for teaching at a place where pencils aren't primarily used as weapons? No, William, that's what one Hubert Humphrey said back in 1968 at the start of the Democratic National Convention. But then hippies put acid in everyone's bourbon. And when an updraft revealed Lady Bird Johnson's tramp stamp and tattoos above her ovaries, Mayor Richard J. Daley became so incensed with sexual rage that he punched his own wife in the face and spent the next hour screaming, sex party, into the microphones of all three major networks. Oh. Are you playing Angry Birds? I love sucking on those salamander lips. Um, did I hear something about a substitute? <laughs> it's coming out of your paycheck, every penny of it! God, it's a lawsuit. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Are you singing about a cup? Wait. Cucumbers can give you AIDS? Blaine and I love football. Well, Blaine loves football. 
I love scarves. Correction, you had feelings for him. He made breakfast on your head. That's a steer with six teeth and no oink. I don't care how adorable those kids are. If I hear one song from that classic rock outfit journey, I will start pulling catheters. You know, I sat through that whole broke back mountain. From what I gather, something went down in the tent. <laughs> When people look at you, they don't see what you're wearing. They see a cat getting its temperature taken, and then they hear it screaming. To show everyone how hot and sexy I am. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how we do it in Lima Heights. I... Honey Badger, I am lactating with rage. I you know, like my enemas piping hot. <laughs> my headband, you're my headband. I got punched in the face. Anyway, because I know you started smoking again. I think your kids can manage life without their daddy. We're Dr. Scott! Oh! Janet! Dr. Scott! Finn's like Janet! I'm so bored I just fell into a micro sleep. Brad! Rocky! Uh, Janet! Dr. Scott! Still being Finn. Janet! Brad! None of this is plausible. Rocky! Uh, Janet! Dr. Scott! Finn's line. Janet! Brad! Rocky! Uh, this play has incredible pacing problems. Baby likes his soup. I'm gonna have to go straight to the wound care center. I'm gonna have to stare at some wounds. I know where babies come from. I've been drinking a lot of bleach. <laughs> Mr. Shu, I wrote another verse of Trouty Mouth. Uh, no, 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 no. Guys, guys. Challenge me now. You crap on my leg, I'll cut it off. I've got a gay. Go. Go, I've got to go. Can I just say that this is what happens when people don't put out? Get me some chocolate or I will cut you. Our thoughts are all with Kurt. And, uh, I'm gonna sue the pants off you, Will. I'm gonna take your house, your car, your extensive collection of vests. I mean, seriously, you wear more vests than the cast of Blossom. Glee is a giant ball of suck. Oh, oh my god! Finn can fly? I don't mean to be a bitch. Well, yeah, actually, I do. You can't prove that there isn't a magic teapot floating around on the dark side of the moon with a dwarf inside of it that reads romance novels and shoots lightning out of its boobs. Nobody tells you anything because A, you're a blabbermouth, and B, we all just pretend to like you. I have no idea what's going on in this script, and it's not in a cool Inception kind of way. Well, he's not coming out anytime soon. This room looks like the one on that spaceship where I got probed. Hey, I'll bring him to work with me. Weekends, I volunteer at a stray cat rescue. <laughs> it's at the bottom of a coal mine. I don't brush my teeth. I rinse my mouth out with soda after I eat. I was pretty sure Dr. Pepper was a dentist. I got this, Sam. I'm with Rachel on this one. Gross. Just like I know the cricket that reads to me and I just totally stealing my jewelry. I would have joined in with a kick-ass harmony, but the dude was naked. OK, maybe you are straight. What? I'm like a lizard. I need something warm beneath me or I can't digest my food. You like me sing. You like me sing very much. In fact, right now I'm tempted to sell your scalp on the black market as a tiny full-length shearling coat for only the most fashionable of premature babies. If marriage is so sacred, they should just outlaw divorce. Right, right. right. If we lose, we should throw possums. May I be excused? I'm gonna go stuff some tots up the tailpipe of Coaster Vister's car. Is God an evil dwarf? I realize you're only half orangutan, but I'm still very allergic to your lustrous ginger mane. I made him a card that said heart attacks are just from loving too much. I like to preserve you in a jar <laughs> in my basement. Oh, no, not Brittany. I'm busy. Shut up! For a while, I thought you were a robot. All right, so then they take off our wet clothes and we do the rest of the scene in our underwear. Mr. Kurtama? Dude, why don't you just tell us you wanted to pray in Muslim? Why are you talking to me? Are you gonna steal something from me? Gay! 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 G
Gay, 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 gay. Oh my gosh, I opened my mouth and a little purse falls out. <laughs> That's okay. I'm bad get in there. <laughs> Halloween is that magical day of the year when a child is told their grandmother's a demon who's been feeding them rat casserole with a crunchy garnish of their own scabs. People thought I went on vacation, but actually I spent the summer lost in the sewers. Wow, Emma, I thought the whole purpose of you doing this was to Being write... Being a ginger has plagued me my entire life. Wouldn't it be awful to see an entire town overrun by killer bees? I'm sorry. Okay, I think we've had enough of that. What are you doing? Throwing sticks at your head. <laughs> if he and I got married, the gap would give me a 50% discount. I'm Hispanic. I don't know. I've never had any balls in my mouth. View? That's like vocal masturbation or something. <laughs> was it too much? Yeah, it was too much. I don't want you anywhere near my squad. You'll deafen them with the sound of your stretch marks rubbing together. Oh, well, Charles Manson would have been a fun addition to your pack of losers. And I never tell you that you dress like one of the bait girls on To Catch a Predator? Earlier today, Artie asked if he could make a gigantic omelet when I'm done with the ostrich eggs I'm smuggling in my bra. Look what I snuck in. They're personifying you. Ugh. Don't they have anything here that isn't covered with stupid little hearts? Gross. I've got the power! I've got the power! Am I dreaming? Is this happening? When are you slated to make your triumphant return to the Shire? In your arms, I know I'll fly. You make the underflaps of my breast burn, like when I used to rub them with poison sumac. <laughs> Is your figure. You are as brilliant and talented as you are irritating. It just looked like you were having gas pains. You and I are a little bit more similar than you think. That's a terrible thing to say. Legend has it that when I came out of my mother, I told the nurse she was fat. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The, the show's got to go all over the place or something. Do you ever fantasize about your own funeral? OK. Sometimes you got to give the inmates what they want. You throw them a comb and hope they stop beating each other long enough to whittle it into a shiv. I'd say bye, but I wouldn't want to make you angry. Would you mind if I borrowed one of your rafters so I could hang myself? <laughs> Take your sick, perverted sex games out of the school. That can't be my baby because I don't love it. Tonight, sometimes it doesn't come at all. I am going to perform with you. <laughs> Pretty cool that our girlfriends are such good friends, right? Students who ate the ravioli today and are not up to date on their tetanus shots should see the nurse immediately. I'm doing you a favor by telling you that Blaine is the first of a long line of conflicted men that you will date that will later turn out to be only the most flaming of homosexuals. This morning I woke up and decided to swallow the sun. Think I'm ready. It's a Britney Spears sex riot. Take your juicy vine ripened chest fruit and get the hell out of my office. The key is to use the curling iron in the bathtub to keep you from getting burnt. What? Stop the violence. Hey there, sexy lady. <laughs> a sentiment expressed by many a hag about many a gay. I didn't send her to an active crack house. Yep. I'm gay. 100% gay. You do not spray athlete's foot medicine in your teammates' eyes. How has life changed since the birth of your bastard child? When I showed this to Brittany earlier, she began to whimper, thinking I had cut down a small tree where a family of gummy bears lived. Wait, the kids don't like them when I rap? I have good news. I found a journey song we haven't done yet. One girl ate a pigeon. Several others started worshiping a possum carcass as their lord.
up and says, bienvenidos, quite like a buttered floor. Oh.